See, the news starts now with breaking news. We do have some breaking news. One of Tybee Island's interim fire chiefs has been removed over a certification issue. Thanks for joining us here on the news at noon. I'm Mike Seelum. Narshay Schrader is in the WTOC newsroom now after talking to a Georgia State Standards Board. And Shay, you were told this all boils down to a transfer of credentials. Yes, that's essentially the case. Now, according to Randy Toms, who is the executive director of the Georgia Firefighter Standards and Training Council, Greg Socks never had certification to be a fire chief in the state of Georgia. Now, Socks came to the Tybee Island Fire Department from out of state. He's been serving as one of two interim fire chiefs for the department since former Chief Jeremy Kendrick was fired earlier this year. Now, Tom says that when Sox came to the department, he never transferred his certification to Georgia, despite having, quote, adequate time to do so. The other interim fire chief, Jason Waterfield, is also non-compliant in his Georgia certification, according to Tom's, and will have to complete what is known as a task book to become compliant again. Tom's also tells WTOC that he warned the Tybee Island Fire Department that if they don't become compliant with state law, he will start the process of revoking their certification, though he added that the department seemed eager to get compliant and he doesn't think it's going to come to that. Now, though unrelated to this situation, this does come on the heels of the Tybee Island Fire Department losing their medical license due to what the city called a paperwork issue. That license has still not been reinstated. We did reach out to the city for comment. They told us that our information as it relates uh, to the interim fire chiefs wasn't quote entirely accurate, but did not elaborate on what they mean and haven't responded to us since. We will bring updates to the story as they become available. For now, live in the newsroom, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.